This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a package with a package protection level of Don't Save Sensitive and provide some suggestions for how to provide the sensitive data to the package at execution time. I have a very simple package configured already, and it just has one execute SQL task that reads in a couple of columns from a single row and puts them in the two variables that I have set up there. And then in order to create some sensitive information, I uh, set up my OLEDB connection manager to use SQL Server authentication. So there you can see I have a username, and every time I open this, I have to retype the password. And I'll just test it to make sure I got it right, and I did. So that's where our sensitive information is. It's the password. And I want to show you the default protection level is encrypt sensitive with user key. So I just want to show you something very quickly here. If I right mouse click on the name of the package and I go to view code and then I'll search for password. And uh, so there you can see the beginning of the password uh, set up here. And then you can see it's encrypted. And if I scroll all the way over here, you can see there's the end of the password definition. So the password is in there, it's just encrypted, and you'd have to execute it as the same user in order for it to work, to decrypt that password. All right, so now we're going to change the protection level to don't save sensitive. And then I'll close this, and I also want to change it in the project or it complains. You always want those to match if we're using the project deployment method. And it's telling us that we need to make sure they match, and they do. So I'll save the project. And now I want to show you the code again. And I'll search for password again. And there you can see the beginning and the end of the password are visible right there. And the password is not in here at all. It's not that it's just encrypted. It is not in the code at all. So let's just see what happens when we execute the package and it fails. So let's go look at the reason why. It says the connection manager might not be configured correctly, or I might not have permission. So let's see, how can we provide the password? Stay tuned to see how I get the package to execute successfully with this protection level. Are you tired of updating packages because of changing metadata? How many hours have you spent accommodating new source and destination columns? How many nearly identical packages do you have to maintain? Especially when you need to update hundreds of them. Well, you should check out Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus component. Dataflow Task Plus provides the ability to acquire the metadata and map the columns at runtime. You can even use transformations on the data. Just add the changes at the source and destination, execute, and Dataflow Task Plus will handle the process of extracting, transforming, and loading the desired columns from the source to the destination without a need to change the existing package. It works with any standard SSIS Dataflow components, transformations, and application adapters. No more manual package updates. Design your SSIS data flows with Dataflow Task Plus and save hundreds of hours. A vision of completely metadata-driven processing is now possible. 
Download Cozy Rock's Dataflow Task Plus from CozyRock.com. It's free for testing and development within Visual Studio. I'm going to set up a variable to contain the password. And it's a string and it's PW4 login. Now I need to set up the connection string to use that value from the variable. So I'll have to set up an expression in the connection manager. So I'm going to copy the connection string to use as my template to create an expression. So I'll go down to the expressions here and I click on the ellipsis and I find the connection string property and I need to expand this to find the ellipsis and click on them and there you can see my variables I need to put double quotes around the whole connection string here to create an expression and then there's a backslash and that's an escape character so I need to put a second backslash and I'll evaluate the expression and it looks exactly the same as the string that I pasted in from the connection string but there's no password in here at all so I'll need to put in that uh, keyword the password keyword and then use our password variable to supply the value so I'm setting it up so that I can insert my variable down here for the password. So I put it in between the plus signs. In case you're not familiar with creating an expression, you have uh, strings which are inside double quotes, and then you can put a concatenate a variable by using a plus sign on either side of it. So all the strings are inside double quotes and uh, the variable has the password value in this case. So I'll evaluate the expression now and you can see we added the password keyword but I'm missing a semicolon. So I'll put that inside the string that comes right after the variable. Now we'll evaluate the expression and everything looks good. So we're done with our expression, and it's not showing up here. Ah, there it is. Okay, now we can close this and close out of the properties. And we'll save the package and execute it. And this time it worked. Okay, so even though that worked, that does not mean that's how you should do it. In the real world, you want to keep passwords very secure and safe, so we don't want them hard-coded in a variable in our code for the package. So I want to show you that the password is now hard-coded into the code. So we'll go view code again, and I'll do a search for the beginning of our password, and there it is. It's just saved in a variable, so you would not want that. The way that it should be done is that you should provide the password in a configuration file if you're using package deployment model or an environment variable if you're using the project deployment model. And make sure that the information is saved in a place that's secure. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.